If you would like a chance to win 1,000 donator tokens in every new Ateria video, all you gotta do is comment your in-game name, like the video, and subscribe. Winners will be announced at the end of every video. Also, be sure to turn on post notifications because sometimes I may choose the first commenter to win. Good luck. Yo, what's going on, guys? Before I get into anything, I just wanna let you guys know that I am actually trying to purchase, um, as you can see here, I'm trying to purchase a third age malevolent uh, greaves. So if you guys have that, or if you have an offhand Drygor longsword third age, I'm also looking to buy that. I'm basically just trying. To, I have the shadow set, but I'm basically just trying to get third age, and then I'm gonna sell shadow. If you also need a shadow set, hit me up. I got you. I got the uh, the main hand Drygor rapier so, or Drygor rapier selling in there right now. So yeah, if you have the greaves or the uh, Offhand, Drago Longsword, Third Age. Let me know and I will definitely buy that off of you. But anyways, today's video is going to be a bit different. As you guys know, I do like some fun videos and sometimes I will do these informative videos mainly to help newer people uh, who don't really know too much about the game. So yeah, today's been pretty freaking busy. I have not had time to make a video today. It's already almost 5 a.m. I didn't want to have to start doing this again. I was I was doing good at making videos during the day, but then <laughs> then this happened. So I'm really tired. I don't know if you guys can tell. Hopefully everything is normal and I'm not too boring. But um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to basically get a trimmed completionist cape. Yeah, so I'm going to show you how to do all of these tasks here, where to go and where everything's located. Because I you don't know how many times a day I see people asking questions about the completionist cape, like requirements, like where where do I do Rise of the Six, or like where are Blue Dragons, stuff like that. I didn't even know where Blue Dragons were at first. I mean, obviously I knew where they were in RuneScape, but I didn't know if they were different on here. But um, yeah, I'm going to be going over everything. Hopefully this video helps you guys out, and uh, yeah, let's get started. So first of all, obviously you complete the tutorial. That should be something that you would get automatically. Um, obtain a Slayer assignment, so all you need to do for that is make sure you have 40 combat first. But after you get 40 combat, you come talk to this uh, dragon right here, and he will give you a task, and that's how you complete that one. Defeating 25 rock crabs, uh, you just go to training, click general, and then tell a bunch of rock, tra rock crabs, and you can kill those. And then same thing with the yaks, it's right above rock crabs right here. Uh, heal 10,000 HP, self-explanatory, all you need to do is just eat um, 10,000 HP. Offer 25 bones to the altar, this is regular bones. So uh, here's the altar right here. A lot of people don't realize that you can actually buy bones if you come up here and talk to the skilling supplies guy here. You can click prayer, which would be right here, and you can buy bones and do that. Same thing applies to the big bones, which uh, is another requirement, I think, at some point down the line. But high alk 30 items, uh, buying the runes, all you need to do is come over here and talk to the magic supplies guy. You can get uh, your nature runes and your fire runes, or your fire staff and nature runes. And they're just high alk 3 items, doesn't, ha doesn't matter what it is, you can literally high alk some arrows it doesn't really matter uh, finish 10 agility laps so to do that we're gonna go to skilling agility and go to the gnome course and then uh, for the 10 barbarian agility laps you just go to skilling agility and then barbarian okay now this one says spot one penguin so what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll up here and you're gonna find where the penguin is at right now it should tell you okay well i can't find it in the chat right now but it will announce it at some point i don't know if there's another way to actually check and see where to uh find a penguin but it should announce the location of where it's located uh currently on the yell occasionally and then rating one sinkhole that is also something that will pop up it doesn't go on all the time but sometimes it will announce whenever there's a sinkhole going on and it'll tell you where the location is and you just run there and then you will find the sinkhole I forgot to go in detail here. Once you actually go to the sinkhole and you find the location, there will be a cave there and you will enter the cave entrance. And then once you're in the cave entrance, there's a bunch of things you can do there. You can do other completion escape requirements. There's a bunch of skilling that you can do there. Uh, you can fish there, thieve there, whatever you want to do. And then you just wait it out. And then whenever the sinkhole finally collapses, that is when you will get the achievement. Loot three crystal chests. So we're going to return back home real quick. And then you're going to come over here and talk to the point shop guy right here. And you're going to go to your PVM point shop. And this is where you can buy crystal keys. You're just going to buy three of these. They're 550 PVM point points each and then you are oops sorry I ran too far you're gonna come over here and click this chest right here and that's how you open them you're just gonna click that loot 10 implings so to do that you're gonna go to your teleports you're gonna click skilling go next hunter and go to poro poro 
after you get here you're going to go inside here the uh, it says enter the center of crop circle and it's going to teleport you to this place make sure you have a butterfly net so you can catch these and you can buy those from the uh, skilling supply shop at home after you actually catch those with the butterfly net, you will be able to uh, click the impling jar in your inventory, and that is how you loot them, so you just need to open those 10 times. Next, you need to steal uh, 10 silk, which you might probably do whenever you first join, but uh, anyways, you just go over here and thief from this stall right here. It's, I think it's the first one. Yeah, it's the first one right here. You're just going to steal 10 of these to get that achievement. Okay, the next one is to mine 20 stardust. To do that, you're going to go to the shooting star, which is announced on Yell pretty often so you're going to click here it says by the alcarid lodestone so we're going to go to the alcarid lodestone real quick so here we are right here it's just right over here and then you can uh mine this thing right here for 20 stardust oh speaking of the penguin event there we go right now right now the hint is platypus holes right over there so as you can see it does announce it on yell sometimes so fish 20 trout and cook 20 trout uh obviously to get there you just go to your uh teleports and then skilling and you click fishing and you go to wherever you need to fish trout and then you just need to cook them or you can go to a donator zone and they're right there and you have a cooking range right beside you uh willow logs same thing just go to skilling uh, we're gonna click back and go to wood cutting and then you teleport to wherever you need to go or that is also at a donator zone and then burn them you can just make a bonfire and then infuse 10 summoning pouches so you're going to go home for this one so this one's pretty easy all you're going to need is some charms and then you're going to buy some supplies to make a pouch but here's the uh pouch infusers uh area right here this is where you infuse your pouch so whatever just find whatever you want as you can see this one just needs one gold charm so you're going to go over here and wait actually no do i even need a pouch let's go ahead and try that real quick Oh no, yeah, you need one pouch and one wolf bone, so you're just going to get 10 wolf bones, 10 pouches. Don't forget, you also need spirit shards to do this, so you're just going to right-click this and then infuse all. And then there you go. All right, now this one is for the medium, so it says to defeat 50 blue dragons. Um, I'll show you guys a quick, a quicker way to do this. Um, this is something that I wasn't aware of at first. Where, where am I going? Training, uh, dungeons, Tyrelly dungeon, okay. So I'm not really sure if it requires an agility level, but yes, you can squeeze through this obstacle pipe right here. And the blue dragons are obviously located here, but if you want to do it quicker, you can come over here and pull the dungeoneering lever right here. And then you will have a bunch of blue dragons down here. This is the blue dragon dungeon right here. You can run over here and you'll just have a bunch of them to kill. The next one is defeat 30 hope devourers. You just go to your medium level and then it's the last one right here. And then heal 25,000 hit points. Pretty much just an upscale of the 10,000 hit points from earlier. Offer 100 big bones to the altar. You guys saw earlier where the altar was at home. You can also buy big bones from the same shop at the skilling supplies. High elk 100 items. This is just another up of high alking. 30 gnome agility laps, 30 barbarian agility laps, spot 5 penguins, raid 3 sinkholes, loot 10 crystal chests, loot 10 borrows chests. Okay, so this one's different. I actually have not done this requirement, but I know how it's done. So you're going to come down here, go to mi uh, mini games, combat based, and where's it at? Oh, I thought I clicked combat based. Oh, I just bugged out a little bit. Let me reopen that. We go mini bit games, combat base, and then Barrows is right here. And you're just going to complete the uh, levels of Bar Brothers. Loot 10 Rise of the Six chest. So, all, obviously, to get to Rise of the Six, you're just going to do the command R O T S. And apparently, I have a pet on me right now, which is not visible for me. So, that's kind of interesting. I had to relog real quick. For some reason, my pet was gone. But uh, yeah, to get to Rise of the Six, just do Clone Clone Rise of the Six. And then uh, you'll come in here. And once you pass this barrier, you will fight the two Rise of the six bosses and then you loot the chest over there steel 40 silver dust you just come back over here and go to the little tent right here and i think this is the silver dust right here nope maybe this one yeah right here okay this is the silver dust which requires i think uh, i'm not really remember i don't really remember the exact thieving level maybe it was like 68 or something i don't know exactly but yeah you just steal from there Next one is mine 100 stardust. Uh, it's just an up from the 20 stardust that was on the easy requirements. Fish 50 lobsters, cook 50 lobsters, cut 50 U logs, burn 50 U logs. So the other one was willow logs, now it's U logs, and then infuse 50 summoning pouches. Okay, and for hard, you pretty much just need to get max cape for that one. So if you want to achieve this hard achievement, achieve the max total level, you just need to get. 
pretty much 120 on Dungeoneering and then 99 and everything else. Complete the Fight Caves, which is at Teleport's minigames combat base, and then you're just going to click Fight Caves. The Fight Kiln, same spot. Defeat 100 Tormented Demons, you're just going to go to Bossing, Medium Level, and then Tormented Demons. Kill 200 Dominion Tower Bosses, minigames, combat base, Dominion Tower, and then you're just going to go through that and just kill 200 bosses. Heal 50,000 hit points instead of uh, the 10,000 and 25,000. Offer 500 dragon bones to the altar. Now this is actually something you have to buy. You cannot, well, you have to buy it from other players. As you can see, we go to the skilling shop over here and then we try to buy it and it's not in there. So that is something you actually have to either earn or buy yourself and then offer them to the altar. High Alk 500 items, finish 100 Gnome Agility Labs, finish uh, 100 Barbarian, spot 15 Penguins, raid five sinkholes, loot 25 crystal chests, loot 25 barrows chests, loot 50 rise of the six, steal 500 perfect necklaces, which is over here. Is it the last, no, it's this one right here. Is oh no, it's probably gonna be the last one, eh? Yes, yeah, the last one right here. That's how you steal the perfect necklaces. Mine 400 stardust, fish 500 sharks, cook 500 sharks, cut 500 magic and curse logs. Now, if you guys don't know where curse logs are, you just go to the extreme zone right here. You just type in clunk on EXTZ and it takes you to the extreme donator zone and that's how you get um, curse logs. But you, it is not required. Curse logs are really good money though, but it is definitely not required. As, as you can see here, it says magic slash curse logs because it'd be kind of BS if you have to be a donator to get a completionist cape. So that's not a thing. Then you got to burn 500 of them, infuse 500 summoning pouches, and oh, just got a black screen rip. Yep, I accidentally opened my live streaming software, so it kind of gave me a black screen. But uh, where were we? We were at... Uh... Deal 1,000 damage to evil trees. Okay, to get to evil tree, you're going to go to teleport, skilling, uh, wood cutting, and then you're going to click the Varrock. And now we're going to run up here to the Grand Exchange and run all the way northeast up here and then talk to the spirit tree. And as you can see, there's currently an aggressive evil tree attacking by mobilizing armies, blah, blah, blah. And you can click yes to teleport there. Next up, purchase a comp cape. After you complete your hard achievements, you have got a comp cape, some congratulations. If you have done that, now you're gonna purchase a comp cape, and now we're gonna go for the elite achievements, which is what will give you the trimmed completionist cape. Next up, Glacor, so we're going to go to Teleports, Slayer, and then the Glacor Cave right here. 300 Majara, Teleports, Bossing, Medium Level, or no, is it a high level? Oh no, Madaro's a team boss. What? That's considered a team boss? I didn't even really, really think that boss was that hard, but I guess it is. Okay. 300 of those. Man, have fun with that. Heal 100,000 hit points. Man, I've already completed that, boys. Offer 1,000. 1,000 frost bones to the altar. Uh, just like the dragon bones, you cannot buy that from a shop. You have to buy that from the Grand Exchange, other players, or earn them yourself. High Alk 1,000 items. Finish 250 Gnome and Barbarian Agility laps. 30 Penguins, 10 Sinkholes, 10 Crystal Chests, 50 Barrows Chests, 100 Rise of the Six Chests. Mine 500 Runite Ore. Fish 1,000 Rock Tail. To get to Rock Tail, you're going to go to Skilling and then Fishing. And then you're just going to go to the Living Rock Caverns and then fish them there. Or, obviously, Donator Zones. Cook 1,000 Rock Tail. Cut 1,000 Magic or Curse Logs. Burn 1,000 Magic or Curse Logs. And infuse 1,000 Summoning Pouches. After all that, you should be set for your Trimmed Completionist Cape. All you need to do is come over here and investigate the Mysterious Cape. And then say you would like the Trimmed Completionist Cape. Um, as you can see, I, yeah, I haven't completed all of that, so Ripperoni, I can't get it yet, and here I am making a guide on it, but hopefully this helps some of you guys out. If it did, please be sure to leave a like on this video, also leave a comment, I love reading comments, uh, even if you are entering the giveaway anyway, I still like to read comments, like actual comments. If you guys don't know, I always send a love react to everybody who makes uh, nice comments other than just their in-game name. I appreciate that, and yeah, thanks for watching. Oh, 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 back it up, boy. I almost forgot about the giveaway winner, which is going to pop up on the screen right now. Congratulations, my friend. The 1,000 donor token should be on your account when you log in. If not, just let me know, and I will get that done for you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching today's video, guys, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one. Peace.